in these San Ana conditions, um, we're still going to be dealing with these high winds uh, mm -hmm. until what we're talking about noon at least. Yeah, that red flag warning in effect until noon. But the good news is we're starting to see those numbers lowering at least from what they saw in those overnight hours. Midnight 1 a.m. We really saw those winds gusting in the 50 to 60 mile per hour range. Some of our ridge tops had 70 mile per hour gusts. Right now what we're seeing looking out towards the west from the mountains, those are high clouds out there. So we also have high clouds and there's a chance there's a system that's coming pushing in those clouds that we could see a few raindrops come out of it. Really, really light drizzle for today expected in our mountains mainly. So again, strong early morning gusts. They'll subside by about noontime. These high clouds coming from a system that's way off the coast right now. And our Christmas Eve, of course, starting off a little wild with the Santa Ana winds. This evening should be a lot calmer. Tomorrow will be a lot calmer. And then we'll have a seasonal weekend ahead with temperatures back to normal conditions, back to normal onshore flow is expected to return before we get a storm. We're expected to see some rain coming through. Here's a look right now at our current wind gusts. 51 in Alpine, 26 Laguna, 23 Ramona, 26 in Escondido. And a lot of these winds again coming from the east to west with this kind of northerly component. So that's why in the Fallbrook area where the fire is, it's expected to burn towards the west, but also towards the south. So that's what they're watching for. And that's why they let residents in that area know to get out of their homes and go to those evacuation centers that they have set up. Look how dry it is in Fallbrook. 10% Camp Pendleton. As you know, those hills out there are already very dry. It's brown brush that they're dealing with. That's all burning and that just shows how brittle that brush is. There's no moisture in the air or on the ground. Really 11% relative humidity in Escondido. Now since the last significant rainmaker, which was way back early November, we've had quite a few of these Santa Ana wind events. So that's contributed to the overall drying of our county. Red flag warning because of that. It's going to last until noon today. And here's a look at that fire risk forecast model. You see it's in the red through about 6, 7 a.m. We'll continue to see that increased elevated risk, which is why this fire spread so rapidly. 500 acres in just six hours time in the overnight hours. Typically at night when it's cooler, they get some break, but that's not happening here because of the gusty conditions. Fire risk goes down as you saw in the afternoon hours. Here's a quick check of those power outages to the issued by SDG &E, all the blue dots here areas where there's the concern of down power lines, but also let's show you what's happening across our skies because some people may be uh, happy to see a little bit of green popping up here. This is mainly that system that's bringing in those high clouds and what we may see by this afternoon is this chance for a very light drizzle. So the green does pop up here around noontime or so and then in the mountains you could see a little bit more of that around 2 p.m. So that's today. That's that weak little system that could bring us that drizzle. Friday things are calm. Same with Saturday, Sunday. Monday will be that actual rainmaker. We could get anywhere from a half inch to one inch of rain and then the mountains. Here's snowflakes for you. We could see snow levels dropping down to about 5,000 feet. Some places could get 6 to 12 inches of snow.